Good afternoon, oil traders. It is August 14th, and it's after closing. It's 4.08 p.m. Eastern Time here on the East Coast in North America. And uh, as expected, we did drop below 48. It was the first time we're below 48 in three weeks. Today saw over 2.5% fall in the price of crude, um, settling as low as 47.45. And uh, right now, as you can see, we're at 47.52. Um, I uh, tried to take my lesson learned from last month or two weeks ago and I played it safe once again. So I had a short from 48.40 and I exited that short at 47.47 with um, literally I think three or four minutes left in trading um, when we actually hit that price. Um, I originally put my order in at 47.45 hoping that we would revisit the lows of the session, um, but uh, decided to increment up my sell order just to be safe and, and uh, get out. I told you guys I would sell below 48 and seeing how we are below 48, I didn't want to back out on my word. Um, of course, it is uh, tempting to wait and I really wanted to see a, um, a reach, I really wanted to see crude reach 47, um, in which case I would be able to exit more than one short position simultaneously. I have another short position, 47.20 roughly, um, and I would take a small profit on that simply to free up the money because then my expectation is that we could see a bounce at this point. Um, we've had uh, a couple of large drops um, in sequence now uh, in the past a uh, handful of trading days and uh, the likelihood of a bounce back up to, for example, 49, a retest of 49, doesn't seem very unrealistic at all. Um, in which case, I would uh, repurchase that short position, um, one or more short positions, depending on how high we do go on that bounce. Um, unfortunately, of course, we didn't go as low as I wanted, so I just took that one sell on the short position and uh, I mean, not complaining. So if we take a look at my tradingjournal.ca account, you can see the updated portfolio here. If we flip over to the results page, um, you can see that it was a 3.71% uh, take on that one position for a profit of $545. Um, so, I mean, you know, it's a nice day's work, so to speak. Uh, I wanted, but didn't get uh, basically more cash on hand out of the portfolio. Uh, but if we do continue to drop tomorrow and we do manage to hit 47, I will be adding to my long positions. And if we happen to drop below 47, I'll be exiting more short positions, of course. Uh, but at this point, it's just wait and see. Um, so far, it's moving in the right direction for me and the bears. Uh, as you can see from my portfolio, of course, I am still more heavily weighted in the bear, HOD representing the um, D for down and U for up. Uh, so D is the bear position, HOU is the bull. Um, e ETFs here in Canada. So I'm basically four to one on the uh, bear side here. Uh, but I have sold two shorts in the past two or th three trading sessions. So it's starting to move in that direction. Uh, but we shall see. Uh, let me know what you guys managed to do today and what your expectations are for tomorrow, which is, of course, API Newsday, or at least after tomorrow's session it will be. Uh, you can hit me up down below on the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio trades and charts. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys ahead of trading tomorrow morning at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Until then, cheers.